All right, so you bought DayZ and now you want to play on modded servers. In this video, I'll show you the process on how to get the mods and play on the modded servers. The process is pretty simple. Basically, once you have the game installed, you're going to click play. Now we'll wait for the DayZ launcher. First thing you need to do is you need to go to parameters and you need to set a name because otherwise you most likely won't get on a server unless you have a, a profile name set. So you need to set your profile name. We don't need to worry about the mods tab. Battle Eye, you want to make sure that's enabled. Should be by default. Uh, download content, we don't need to worry about that. And basically what we do is we'll go to servers and you want to go to community and then here it'll populate all the modded servers you can play on. It'll take a while to populate them all. I play on number 11, Sunnybell. So once you find the server you want to play on or you like a lot, you can add it to your favorites. And this one here is my favorites. And this will automatically install or download and install the mods we need to play on this server. You can see here there's 47 mods, zero available, and I uninstalled all my mods so I can show you how to do this. And basically what you do is you're going to click join, a new window will pop up, and this is a window of the mods that the server is running. And what you need to do is on this page you want to click right here, set up DLCs and mods and join. And I do this every time I play on a modded server just in case they've added the mod or updated the mod. But basically we want to click that. Now it's going to take a, a good minute because there's probably like 15 gigabytes of mods to download. So there's the first one. It won't show you all of them because there's too many. So it says right here at the top server can't transmit all data. So that just means that there's some you can't see but it will still download them depending on your internet speed it could take a more than a few minutes to download then once this finishes we will launch the game and if we get an error when we launch the game, it's most likely there's probably a DayZ update. And then you'll have to exit out and wait for Steam to send you the update. And then you can join right back in. And just repeat the same process, but you won't have to re-download the mods because you've already got them downloaded and installed. Now here's the download of the mod on the Steam window. See that one that we just installed was three point something gigabytes. So like I said, it could take a minute, a good minute to download all of them. I think the last time I did it, there was like 15 or 17 gigabytes. Maybe more, I don't remember. Here's a two gigabyte one. might be closer to 30 gigabytes of downloads because I think one of them at least one of them by itself is 17 gigabytes So 
sorry for the long video. I just wanted to show you the complete process to what it takes to get onto the modded server you want to play on. Looks like we don't have too many left to download. All right, it looks like we're done. Now we'll just wait for the game to load and hopefully we don't get any error for missing files. If we do, we'll just repeat the process. Maybe it missed a mod for the download during the downloads. Hopefully we don't get in queue. This server has a queue. I didn't look to see how many players were on it, but it's early in the morning, so should get right in. All right, no queue. And we're in. It worked. Oh, there's a stag outside. I guess I'll show you how to hunt a deer. Actually, I don't have time to show you how to hunt a deer. I'll make another video on how to do that. This was just the main video of how to play on the modded server. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, just leave comments below and I'll try to help you as best as I can. Have a good day.